And how can we introduce ourselves to opening intelligence? We can do that by just stopping thinking for a moment. And we can all do that right now. We stop the train of thought that we at the moment have. Just for an instant. And then we see what remains. What is present there? We see that there's something alert and something that is always present right there. And that is open intelligence, always present. No matter if we have a thought or if we don't have a thought. So we don't need to try to, to not have any thoughts. The stopping thinking, we introduce ourselves to that, that something about us that is always present, always there, always remains there, never goes anywhere, never changes. And that's what we acknowledge in a short moment, repeated many times, that there's something about us always present that has just gone completely unnoticed because we focused all our energy and all our um, focus on our data, which is all our thoughts, emotions, sensations and experience. What we focus in on that and notice that there's something, uh, we, that we realize that there's something there that has gone completely unnoticed, that present that is always there, that intelligence that informs all our actions, informs all, all data streams, it's always present. So we acknowledge that in a, in a short moment, repeated many times, which means it brings it to the foreground in our perceiving of the world. More and more we use that intelligence that has gone unnoticed to inform our actions, to inform how we want to relate to people. And that intelligence is always stable, always beneficial, always knows what to do, how to act. That is not based on our thoughts, emotions and sensations, that they are fleeting. If we base our, all our actions and the way we relate in the world on all these fleeting ex experiences, the thoughts that are sometimes like this and then you have a next thought and next emotion, I mean we will be swirling around with and not knowing really how to be and how to act beneficially. There's no clarity within that because we cannot hold on to them. But if we base our discernment and clarity and how we want to relate on that stable ground that is always present, that is always there, then we can be ensure that we know exactly how to be in, in the world with complete uh, clarity and discernment, knowing exactly how to be and how to act. That's really powerful, really powerful. And on that we can really rely on in our life. So we all have that capacity to tap into that. It's always present for everyone, no one left out. No matter in which circumstance we are, no matter um, what background we have, no matter what activity we are engaging in, it just doesn't matter at all. We can always take short moments and acknowledge open intelligence within that. Always. And we have that choice in every moment. So even if we recognize and acknowledge open intelligence or not, open intelligence is always there. So even if we are focusing on our data stream, open intelligence never went anywhere. So we might as well can also recognize it right there. Because there we see how we can empower ourselves in every moment. Seeing that in every moment we have that choice. The simple choice in how we want to um, be with all our data streams. How we want to use our mind. And that's incredible. We are not victims of, our, of all, all the content of our mind. That means we are not up and down just because our, our data streams are doing that. No, we have the choice to acknowledge open intelligence in each circumstance. And that doesn't mean that we don't have afflictive states anymore. Of course, especially in, in, in a situation like that where, where I mean, I, I still can relate to that, where, we, where we're in a relationship breakup. And I mean, there can so much coming up and, and so much sadness and, and, and grief and we feel everything completely because we allow everything to be there. For the first time, we allow ourselves to feel everything completely. Doesn't mean that we don't feel anything. Stability doesn't mean that we, we are cut off or not feel any pain or grief. We feel it completely and really strong. And, but for the first time, we can really allow that to, to be felt and see that there's something 
underlying ease within that, a, a sense of okayness within everything. And that's our stability, right there. It's in the affliction. In the affliction is our well-being to be found. Not trying to get rid of it or not trying to feel it or thinking that if we feel sadness and grief or loneliness that we, we are not relying on open intelligence or not doing it correctly. Everything is the d dynamic display of open intelligence. Every data stream, every sensation, every, yeah, every feeling, every thought equally shines through open intelligence. So we can be really gentle with ourselves, with everything that we are feeling and sensing and, and, and thinking. Really gentle, allowing it to be as it is, not needing to go into it, not needing to feed it and give him, him it power that it doesn't have on its own. We see completely, we can allow all data streams just to flow on by. All data streams just come, hang out a while, and then they resolve. And we never know how long they will hang out. It doesn't matter. We can maintain open intelligence within every circumstance. That is key. Just continuing on, never giving up, to take short moments. Seeing that we can really clarify all our data streams, which means we recognize their true nature. We recognize them as open intelligence. Acknowledge them as open intelligence. All data streams want to be acknowledged as their true nature. Their true nature as that profoundity that it is, not only the labels. If we focus just on the labels, that is just one part of a data stream. We don't, we don't really see the whole picture of a data stream. Data stream has always two aspects, the label and the description that we give it, and the underlying fundamental nature, open intelligence. If we just focus in on the descriptions, then we are limiting ourselves completely. Then we don't see everything clearly about that data stream, everything that we want to know about that. So really allowing us to really get to know ourselves in every, in every data stream completely. Really seeing everything about that, what is it really? It's such a powerful way of, of living and perceiving the world because then we can be really free. Free of all data stream, not meaning not having any data stream, but within that, seeing complete stability and empowerment in every moment of our life. We are all so powerful. We are so powerful human beings. Powerful in a way that we exactly know how to be of benefit to ourselves and others. The power to know completely in each circumstance. Not being ruled by our data streams. Not being ruled by all the emotions, sensations, things that people tell us or things that people do to us. We feel that we can see that our well-being and life satisfaction is always ensured in every moment, in every moment of our life. And the short moments repeated many times, it's a simple tool to bring that about very practically in our everyday life. So we're not only introduced to open in intelligence, but we have the complete support network, complete um, yeah, complete tools to bring that about practically in our everyday life. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to have it practically. I didn't want to just hear about it and, 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 and know about it. I wanted to have it really demonstrated in my life, in every circumstance. And, and, and that's what I, what I received here with that training. I, I could apply that training and the simple instruction in every circumstance of my life. N nothing had to change in my circumstance to take short moments repeated many times whenever I was re naturally remembered to do so. And a whole new world opened up for me. A whole new world of empowerment and benefit, stability, complete ease and joy for life. I mean, it was incredible just by the simple practice. And you can all test it out. Test it out for a couple of days. Just test it out. Take whenever data streams come up, you stop for one short moment and recognize that there's this underlying presence, underlying ease, stability, right there, open intelligence. And then you maybe forget, you go off in all your stories again, then coming back 
again and again, just testing it for a couple of days, you'll be amazed. You'll be really amazed. And then to really bring that about in your everyday life, we have the four mainstays. And that's our support structure. And the four mainstays is this, the simple practice of short moments like I described. Then we have the media, like all the training media, completely available online, as well as in face-to-face -face meetings like that, talks, books, everything you can for free download on, on, on the internet. Really getting familiar with, with that about ourselves. Having a trainer that can always bring us back to open intelligence as a third mainstay. And then the fourth mainstay, the community, all of us together really demonstrating that in our everyday life, very practically, working together and, and being together, demonstrating an, a different way of relating that I've, I've never thought was possible, a, a way of relating where the focus is on empowerment of each other, not on the looking for the faults and, and, and how can I can I compete against someone, or I want to be better than that one, or, or I'm worse than that one, you know, all these natural things that go on, just come completely settled down, and the focus in is, is on how can we empower each other to bring benefit to a situation, to a circumstance, to the world. That's the main focus. We use all our energy to focus on that, rather on all this, this disempowering behavior that I was so completely involved with all the ways of how to relate with people and I, or, you know, all this energy was so wasted in that way and now it's directed to the benefit of all, to the benefit of how to empower each other. It's so beautiful way of living and it's not only a beautiful way of living, it's a complete powerful way of living and we can all claim that power for ourselves. It's really up to us, everybody needs to do it for themselves and for the world together. Everybody can make that choice. And if we make that choice, it's completely guaranteed that this can come about for everyone. There's not some people that have more access to open intelligence and some less. No, everyone, equal opportunity. We just need to make that choice for ourselves. Make that choice for your own well-being. That is, that is just what I did when I came here. I wanted to just feel well. I wanted to be completely at ease with everything. I wanted to feel comfortable within my skin. I didn't want to feel this tension or insecurities, not knowing what I want to do with my life, or in, in social situations feeling awkward and not, not knowing what to say, or wanting to be in a relationship, but yeah, and everything, all these kind of things, just wanting to feel completely comfortable. And, and now there's such ease within everything, with being in social situations, with being with other people, with, with, with knowing what I want to do with my life. All the questions that I had are completely answered just within that, with empowering myself in every moment to recognize open intelligence, that fundamental ground that is always stable, always stable within us, that we can always rely on. And that is really guaranteed. And it's amazing, when I came here for the first time and I heard that a guarantee, Candice gave me a guarantee that this will be my lived experience, I was like, wow, how, how can that be? I didn't even have an idea that this was possible. And then she gives me also a guarantee that everybody can really live like that. And so I, I gave it a shot and I said, okay, I will just test that out for a while. I will test it in my own experience and see what happens. I gave myself, I gave myself five months or six months. I was in India and I said, I will fully go for it. I fully take it all the way and see what happens. And I'm so glad I did. I could never imagine the, the, yeah, the benefits I had received in that time and now continuously so. It's not never ending. It's, it's amazing. And just by that, that simple choice to just testing that out for, some, for a period of time was, was, was a miracle for me. Like really seeing it that I could really make that choice and be completely supported in making that choice to live a beneficial and, and, and happy life. Not only for myself, but for, for, for everyone. Seeing that this is really possible for everyone.